So we've got the MSI Afterburner setup file. It's 62.4 megabytes. It's a Windows installer, an MSI package, not even an EXE. Everything looks good. I'm going to run it. Setup begins. On the surface, everything looks fine. But unfortunately, under the hood, we have now been infected by a crypto miner. Let me correct myself. We're not only infected with a miner, but we're also infected with an info stealer that's going to steal all our passwords and credentials. So if this was my main system with my YouTube cookies and authentication tokens on it, the hackers could probably take over my YouTube account tomorrow. So here's the interesting thing though. If you take a look at Process Explorer, most of our processes look fine. Of course, if we scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see install.exe is flagged as malicious. But then again, this is only six detections. And then we have cmd.exe, that's command prompt. We've got a timeout, conhost, both of these are system process. It is suspicious why these would be running though. And if you see what was passed to it, it's install.bat. But all of this is actually the info stealer component. The malware also drops an XMRig crypto miner inside explore.exe, which you should be able to find in strings. It was doing that a few days ago when I tested it. It's not doing that anymore. Huh, maybe the attackers looked at the FTX meltdown in the crypto market and they're like, let's just steal the passwords. Crypto is worthless anyway. But thanks to Bleeping Computer, we can actually see how this works. So you've got the standard explore.exe process and then inside it, in this memory location, code has been injected to go to xmr.2miners.com and then you've got instructions for the miner. It uses max CPU threads to 20, so it can use all the latest hardware you've got, and it's only set to mine after 60 minutes of idling. So you wouldn't normally notice it because the mining process would only happen when you're not using your computer. Now, if we take a look at the setup in VARS total, you can see that it's only detected by 20 engines so far, and that is probably because it's an MSI package. It's 62 megabytes, so it's not exactly your regular two megabytes malware executable. That's very direct. If we look at the integer analysis, though, you can see that it is detected as malicious. Not a lot of information, though. But if we look at the static extraction process, so this is the original file, the setup, which includes the legitimate setup of MSI Afterburner. But when we extract it, you've got this trusted file, which is the actual MSI Afterburner setup. And then you have the malicious payload, which is called browserassistant.exe. And this one is much more clear. Intisert detects it as clip banker. So likely some info stealer component has some gene matches here. It's got a lot of Pi installer code, but in all seriousness, this is only a 1.08% match. It's so very hard to detect apparently. You've got some matches with an admin tool, UPX, which is a packer, but because it's packaged by Pi installer, I think it evades a lot of detection mechanisms. So the info stealer element is actually fully coded in Python, I believe. Let's see if we can find anything interesting in capabilities. We have file and directory discovery, obfuscation, virtualization, nothing really about what the actual malware does, which is collection or exfiltration. And that is probably because of the method with which this payload is embedded. It seems to be a very effective technique when it comes to evading detection. If you look at the original Varstol report, only 15 detected it when Intazer found it. So we may see more malware using this method. If we take a look at the extracted payload in Varstol now, it has some more detections, but still not a lot, considering this has been around for, what, well over a week now? Keep in mind, though, that some engines may detect it behaviorally. The engines used by Varstol are very basic compared to the actual products, but still a little bit surprising to see Bitdefender not detecting this yet. Same goes for MCSoft, Cyber Reason, Siren, Symantec, so that's Norton. A lot of big names here. If we do a similar dynamic execution of the actual payload instead of the initial MSI installer, you can see we've got some suspicious items in memory. And the clip banker match goes up to 2.5%. If we take a look at the behavior, still nothing really shows up here. So anybody relying solely on this type of dynamic analysis is going to be probably unable to figure out that this is malware. Another good example of why I think most people need behavioral protection on their host system. Because online sandbox based detection, which is also what Windows Defender largely relies on, by the way, is not going to be enough in many cases. 
and malware is getting better and better at evading that technology. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and share it if you did. Let people know that there's a malicious MSI afterburner going around. I know it's a very popular tool in the gaming community, in the hardware enthusiast community as well. Most IT slash admins have probably heard of the tool. A big thank you to Intiser for sponsoring this video and of course providing us access to their amazing platform. If you'd like to try it out, you can always go to analyze.intiser.com and sign up for their community account. Their support is also amazing, so if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Once again, it's analyze.instr.com if you want to do these sorts of investigations yourself. Thank you so much for watching. This is Leo, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.